Welcome to Living Fearless, the podcast where we explore the limitless possibilities of fearless living and personal growth. Hey everybody, welcome back to my podcast. I am your host, Lester Gonzalez, and as an educator, coach, and writer, I will talk about self-improvement, personal growth, success, and how our mindset plays a crucial role in our lives. Please leave a follow as it will help grow this podcast. And that being said, for today's helpful lesson, I want to talk about the art of self-compassion and also just diving deeper into nurturing kindness and understanding within. In a world that often demands perfection and achievement, self-compassion serves as our gentle embrace, a reminder to treat ourselves with the same kindness and understanding that we extend to others. So let's embark on the enriching journey together as we explore the profound benefits of self-compassion for our well-being and inner peace. How can we cultivate self-compassion and nurture kindness and understanding within ourselves? But firstly, let's just acknowledge that self-compassion begins with self-awareness and acceptance. Take the time to acknowledge and accept your thoughts, feelings, and experiences, both the pleasant and unpleasant times. And embrace your humanity with kindness and understanding. Recognize that imperfection is an inherent part of the human experience. Next, let's explore the practice of self-kindness. Self-kindness is the act of treating ourselves with warmth, gentleness, and care, especially in the moments of difficulty or struggles. Practice self-kindness by speaking to yourself with words of encouragement and support, just as you would to a dear friend in need. Offer yourself gestures of kindness and compassion, such as taking a warm bath, going for a walk in nature, or indulging in a favorite hobby. Moreover, let's delve into the importance of self-compassionate mindfulness. Mindfulness is the practice of bringing our attention to the present moment with openness and curiosity. Combine mindfulness with the self-compassion by gently observing your thoughts and emotions without judgment. And also just offering yourself kindness and understanding when you encounter difficult or discomfort. And by cultivating self-compassionate mindfulness, we navigate life's challenges with greater ease and resilience. Now, let's talk about the power of self-acceptance. Self-acceptance is the radical act of embracing ourselves exactly as we are. Flaws and all. But practice self-acceptance by letting go of unrealistic expectations and embracing your authentic self with love and compassion. Celebrate your strengths and and acknowledge your limitations, Uh, but also just embrace the fullness of who you are and, you know, what you have with the kindness, with your own kindness and understanding, I'd say. Additionally, just just explore the importance of self-forgiveness as well. Forgiveness is not about condoning past mistakes or denying their impact, but about releasing ourselves from the burden of guilt and shame. Just practice self-forgiveness by acknowledging your mistakes and learning from them and committing to growth and healing. Offer yourself the same forgiveness and compassion you would extend to a dear friend, and just watch as the weight of past regrets lift from your shoulders. Let's also highlight the importance of cultivating self-compassionate mindset, or a self-compassionate mindset, right? Self-compassion is not a one-time act, but a way of being, a lens through which we view ourselves and the world around us. We need to find a self-compassionate mindset by reframing negative self-talk and beliefs into messages of kindness and understanding. Treat yourself with the same compassion and empathy you would offer to someone you deeply care about and watch as your relationship with your yourself transforms in profound ways, right? You will see yourself transform with this sense of self-compassion. And overall, the art of self-compassion is a transformative journey of just self-discovery, kindness, and understanding. And with everything I've talked about, finding self-awareness and acceptance, practicing self-kindness and mindful self-compassion, embracing self-acceptance and self-forgiveness, and nurturing a self-compassion mindset, we can cultivate a deep sense of inner peace, resilience, and well-being that 
helps us grow and enriches enriches every aspect of our lives. But with that being said, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you for joining me on this journey of self-compassion. Remember, my dear listeners, you are worthy of love, kindness, and understanding just as you are. But until next time, may you find yourself with boundless compassion and nurture the light of kindness with your heart. This is Lester Gonzalez signing off, wishing you a profound, gentle self-care and unwavering self-compassion to your journey of self-discovery. That is all I have for you guys today. And as always, I wish you all a blessed day.